What's up, everyone? I'm back for video number three, and uh, a couple things I want to talk about today. Um, it's 1 a.m., maybe 2 a.m., actually. Let's take a look. 149. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I actually got a package earlier today, and I didn't get a chance to open it because uh, we were up, me and my wife, all night watching the release of Hamilton, which is a play that we've seen four times in person. Um, it's absolutely incredible. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend watching it. And, um, well, I didn't want to go sleep without opening this because uh, I've been waiting actually quite a number of years to be able to get this package. And uh, I kind of want to explain the significance um, as well as my philosophy for uh, why it took me so long to buy this thing. Um, and to explain that, uh, I want to show you this. So retail therapy is a real thing, especially if you've been cooped up in the house for three months, unable to go shopping. And so um, I love designer clothes. Um, there are certain items that I have to have, and eventually I find my way to them. And there are other items that are kind of more everyday use, not necessarily things that are on my radar, but uh, if I can find some good deals, um, then that stuff makes it into my regular rotation. And um, my wife and I went to Nordstrom Rack today, and uh, we spent a lot of money, but we saved a lot of money. So let's take a look here. I've got the receipt, and I don't know if you can see that. What a deal. $1,003 less than comparable value. How much did we spend? $633, it's kind of a lot. But uh, let's see what we got. I've been needing some shorts. I got some mother denim. Um, originally $200 down to $31.50. Some Kohlhaan gray shoes for 60 bucks down from 150. Hugo Boss shirt, 50 bucks down from 150. And it just kind of goes on and on like that. Um, some True Religion jeans, True Religion, that's a brand that's been in and out God knows how many times, but uh, this pair are actually kind of like a pair of biker jeans, which kind of gets into uh, what we're going to be unboxing here in a minute. Um, just looked really nice, so it wasn't about the brand, it was about the style. And these were 80 bucks, pretty good deal. So, some things that I like to buy, um, I consider personal grails, uh, and you'd think that stuff like that you would just go ahead and buy immediately, but um, I can't pay full price for anything. So, um, this is something where uh, I've basically been waiting since 2017 to buy this, and uh, it has some personal significance for me, so let's take a look at it. It comes from Dionysi, and Dionysi is the parent company of AGV. And AGV makes some pretty darn cool motorcycle helmets. So that's a Valentino Rossi Winter Test 2019, I think. Maybe 2018. And this is a Valentino Rossi... Um, I think it's a Masano 2014. And so this one here, let's take a look.
So, what do we have? Oh, look at that. There we go. So this is a Mugello 2017 helmet. And you can see it's got the 469 and the 46 is Valentino Rossi. And the 69 is in honor of Nikki Hayden who had passed away prior to this race. And the reason I wanted this helmet is because I grew up in an era watching these two race. Um, kind of 2006, 2007, 2008, I would go to the MotoGP races in Laguna Seca and, um, you know, in a sport dominated by, uh, Europeans, uh, Nikki Hayden came on the scene and I think he won the championship in 2006 and it was just incredible and it did a lot for the sport in America and it gave us, uh, here locally, someone, to, someone to cheer for. Um, and, uh, even to this day, I think the 2006 Nikki Hayden, uh, Laguna Seca helmet is, uh, is one of those ones that, uh, I wish I bought and I still want to find. Um, but this one here, um, is significant because I was actually at this race. Me and my wife were traveling through Europe. We, uh, rented a car, uh, drove throughout all of Italy and uh, actually made our way to Mugello for this race and seeing this race in person and what this um, this race and this rider Valentino Rossi meant to the country of Italy uh, was just insane to experience live. Um, it was unforgettable, uh, something that uh, I don't think I've ever seen stateside for a single individual. Um, we're talking, I mean, I don't know how many people could fit in that crowd, a hundred thousand, but everybody going nuts, wearing the same color, color clothes, setting off, uh, smoke bombs. Um, it was just the wildest thing to see and to see a country rally around a person and to, to be there and experience that and cheer him on, um, was incredible. And, and this helmet kind of reminds me of that, brings me back to that. And it just looks badass as well. So the other part of this um, is, uh, you know, I actually, I've got a number of motorcycles and a scooter, but I don't really uh, ride them much anymore. It's more just for display uh, these days. Um, but this helmet, it just looks freaking cool. So We've got Rossi on the top, and I think that this is um, a tribute to, I think, someone named Toddy. I don't know. I got to look it up. But uh, it's a reference to a specific goal that was made. Um, and then we got the numbers. And on the back, we have the Italian flag. And you can see um, I've got matching jackets for that. So I'm going to be able to pair this up with my outfits. Pretty nice. Uh, one thing about this helmet is I think it's a Pista GPR. And, um, you know, I used to be okay buying these helmets when they were around a thousand dollar price point, like this Corsa over here. Um, but AGV really just kind of, um, kept increasing the price on these things. Uh, so I think this one retail is like 1600 bucks and man, paying 1600 bucks for something that's going to sit on a display shelf is a kind of hard pill to swallow. So I basically waited until this thing hit 40% off and I think I snagged it for 960 or so. Um, I don't even honestly personally like it as much as, uh, the Corsa in terms of usability. Because you'll see things like this, they built in the vents. They're like pieces that you have to pull out uh, in the name of weight savings. Where here, I can just close a vent 
And um, this helmet, I think, is noticeably lighter. But I honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell unless I was racing on the track as a professional. So um, I kind of wish they made the lower price point helmet still, but uh, I'm a sucker for these. So they got me. I'm going to end up buying uh, what I want eventually. Um, the other cool thing about these is in terms of the visors and the options you can see here, this one's clear, but it's got a film over the top and I've got a blue iridium one and a, uh, I think a dark smoke one here. Um, I actually have an extra one sitting around that I think is a rainbow. Yeah, so this one has a light rainbow tint to it. And I think changing this out is actually pretty straightforward. So. I think I'll, uh, I'll hook it up later, but uh, you can kind of see what it would look like with a different visor on it. Anyway, I am pretty stoked to be able to uh, put this on the shelf. That's all I've got. I'm going to bed. Good night, everyone.